Iacin's Garden in beautiful Jamaica. Now I'm getting ready to um, repot my beef steak begonia. It's very big and it's been blooming since I think um, January. However, it's hanging out the pot and the leaves are getting dehydrated. See, they're drying and falling off. So I'm gonna get it ready for spring. <laughs> you know, it's so beautiful. I hate to do this, but I have two of them and I know they're gonna do great for me. So I'm just gonna, gonna cut it up. I have a pot ready over here. This is my pot. I'm gonna put her in, um, in pieces and then I'm gonna leave one, leave the, the mother plant in the pot. But right now, it's become dehydrated and stressed and it's root bound, it's hard to decide. So I have no choice. I'm so, so sorry but i got to do it. I just have to cut it up. So I have my soil ready. That was garden soil mixed with um, uh, perlite, uh, compost. I also use some of my orchid mix so I can get good drainage for, for her. So I'm getting ready to cut her up right now. Ooh, Sergi. Oh, that word doesn't sound so good to me. But I'm um, going to have to do it. I'm so sorry if I... Yeah, so I had her, my mom gave this to me a couple years ago, never bloomed for her, and ever since I got her, she's been blooming since 2021, so I think it's time for a bigger pot. She wasn't half the size when I acquired her, so um, I'm going to take off all these dry ones so they won't stress too much. It's going to take a little while to recover, but nonetheless, it's going to be beautiful when it's all said and done, because see, they are falling apart falling out so it's nothing to hold on to it's in the summer it probably would just be um too dry and just die off and i don't want that to happen so i'm getting these down in here with my prune that i clean with my 70 percent alcohol make sure to clean your tools so see these are these great big pieces that i'm getting off i just have to do it. She's going to be beautiful. I'm going to update you on her, you know, when she grows and start doing well. You'll be so happy that I did this to her. Now, look at these great big pieces. But see, the leaves are falling off. Dying, dying, falling off. So I'm going to cut the blooms off. You know, as beautiful as they are, I'm going to save them. Put them in a little ways. They don't last long, but you know, I feel bad pruning her beautiful blooms off. So, this is what I have, and I've got to maybe I should cut this again. And I think I am. See? Right there. Put it over here. This one goes here. And you got to make sure that you turn them the right way in the pot or they won't do anything for you if you do them upside down they are not going to grow you got to make sure that you put them in the right position in the pot okay and then there's this other big one it's just falling right off one by one so there's nothing else that i can do besides repotting her see be a little gentle here and i am going to save all these some of these leaves the ones that are dried and turned, they are not going to do anything for me. So I'll just cut these ones off. I'm going to plant the leaves in a pot all by themselves and see what happens. Okay? So this, I'm going to cut it here. And some of these leaves will need to go. Like this one is just hanging down. So dehydrated because his pot wasn't big enough. She grew out of her pot. See? All hanging down. And see I have two of them. This is a whole other plant over here. This is a whole new plant. So I am going to get him doing the best I can here. See? Here we go. Many pieces. 
There we go. These are falling off as I go along. See? All these are leaves that just stressed and falling off. So I think I'm doing the best thing for this plant at the moment. See? Okay, so we're gonna do this one as well. And uh, yep. Another nice piece, big chunky piece. I'm not putting her in this big pot because I know, just know what she's gonna do for me. So look, I didn't cut a thing, it just fell right apart. So as much as she's so beautiful and doing so, I think it's time. Okay, so in my mix, I also had some cinnamon. And I also added my famous Epsom salt. So, there we go. All these leaves are no good. Well, I can't say they are no good. They might just grow for me. So, see, it's so big. I'm not even sure that the pot is going to hold or both of them. Because they're just falling apart. See, sometimes I don't even use a share. I just pull it out, get the dead leaves off, and just like that, I'm going to be done. So, there. And there. And I'm not going to water because I um, don't want them to rot off. So, the soil, I'm, I put water in the soil. So, it's not going to be needing any water for the next couple of weeks. Make sure that they are established and not rotting off. Okay, so see, I'm cutting these all up. And I must decide. I think I'm going to drop this one out of this pot as well. And put her in a bigger pot. Mama needs to get out of that pot. I see. Uh, these are all risen up. So I'm putting them there because I'm going to plant them all in that pot. But for this one that's left here, I think I need to take this one off so she can grow nice and beautiful. It will be nice and beautiful anyway because, you know, see, I'm not, I wasn't doing it any justice by just having it there. So I think I'm doing the best thing for this plant at the moment. It's a lot of mess here, but I'll clean up. There's no one else to clean up but me. So doing the best I can here with this plant. Okay? So. Oh, wow. I can get this off. All right. It's tied up. They're falling off and not going. Seems like I'm a little rough on this plant, right? You think I'm rough on this plant? I love my plants so much, I do great by them. And I'm sure that they're thanking me for getting her out of the spot. So let's put this over here. All right. So there goes this mommy. See, all these are coming out. Everything left the soil. Everything is drying up. See, all these dried up. So no use keeping them. And see, more drying off. So she was just hanging on to here, and then there was no roots, and she just starts dying off. I think she was dying off. So for the time being, I am going to go ahead and pot up this girl over here in this big pot. So I get my tool, and the soil is already in the pot. So. I'm just going to get her in and all these pieces in and I'm sure they're going to be happy right in this part. This is, these are one of my famous pots. I have um, somewhat different plants like I plant my whale pin, a big whale pin sent to there in one of them. So I think I'm going to put the bigger ones in the center. See like right here. There we go. And make sure everybody gets in the soil. There it 
this is a great big one. So we'll take them out. There we go. Make sure they get down in the soil because I know what's going to happen if they grow out of the pot. That's what they do. This is root and go down. Huh. This one, you come over here. There we go. I think I can sit right there. And you know, good thing about them, they don't have big root balls, but they grow out of the soil. And that's when they are in trouble. Because they grow out of the soil. Okay, um, we put these in. have lots of leaves to plant. Take this over here. Hey, let me see. Everybody's in. I think I can put you here. Yeah. And just like that, she is almost ready. I'm putting in as much as I can find, because this is a big pot. Okay, okay my friends, I'm putting all I can find in here. And I'm going to put um, use my Osmo coat as fertilizer, and I'm going to go ahead and trim out all these bits of bloom. Should I or should I not? I'm going to leave a couple of them because they are so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And this is what is left of mama, but I'm going to put her, put her in one of these pots. I'm going to pot, repot her. Mama is going to go in here. She's a much bigger pot. She is 12 inches. This one is an 8. So, I'm going to use my Osmo coat. I'm going to try it in my store really. So it's not going to hurt anything. It will just enhance new growth to these plants. Help them with their starting out and what to be after work. Later on, I'll give them fresh liquid fertilizer. But for now, I'm putting my slow release. I love slow release. And it's awesome, folks. Okay. Putting them to the side. Then I'm going to cover with soil. And cover. I don't want to get all the leaves messed up. So I'm um, gently putting soil in. Cover. Cover with soil. Cover. Cover. Cover in. Cover with soil. Cover. I have enough soil around to base up these plants. They're not going to be doing just fine. They're not going to die. I have so much faith in her because I remember what I got and I remember now what I have. And my mama came and she was so happy to see it in bloom. I made sure she saw it first before I did any surgery. Okay? So, I can't shake this pot because it's too big. It's the concrete pot, so we'll be able to shake it. But I still think I can get a few more pieces here. I think so. It looks like it's already overcrowded, but you know, they may not all make it. But whatever makes it, I believe, um, will be just fine. And she will grow and fill out. Here will be a full pot of plant before you know it. Okay? So, now, since that's a, a, a different plant, it's the same beefsteak begonia, but it's in a different pot. And you know, sometimes different plants may have different. Um, it's another great big one. 
too bad I have to do that, but yeah, that's what I got to do. So, just for the record, I will be taking some of this baby off. Great, but it's the same problem. See, they're hanging off the pot. Hanging right off the pot. I think they said natural, they grow like that. They just get out of the soil and want to do their own thing because they are beef steak. So I'm going to be very gentle with, with her and try to cut her in the right places. This one needs a cutting because she is as big as a beef steak. Look at her. Look at this one piece. Everybody believe that this is just one piece right here. Well, two pieces because I think it just... Yeah. Oh my goodness. No. It's one piece. No, two pieces, sorry. But they're just intertwined. And you don't even know where to start taking it apart. But I will be gentle the best I can and get her out of this situation. I think I'm doing the best thing for this plant. If you think I am, please let me know in the comments below if you think it was the right move. But I do think it was the right move. Look at this, this is one piece. There's no way it would survive in this 18th pot through this summer, see? So I took these two pieces off and I uh, think I need more pots than I really do have because I don't think I can get these two big pieces in this pot. These are in the pot of their home. Maybe I should just put this one right in this pot and let her be her home girl. Then for these two babies, two mamas uh, will need a pot on her home, on their home. Because they have new growths coming up in them. See? Now that I took all that off, see, these are all new. So what I'll do, I will gently get her out and just sit her in, in another pot so she can go on her home. But these two giants right here, these two humongous pieces, anyone ever seen a beef steak begonia this big? Look at this. And that's one piece, and this is one piece. Look at these. Oh my God. I think I'm going to have to cut that in two to put in that pot and then I'll cut that in two and put her in this pot. So they will have sister pots. They will be in the same kind of pots. But look what I have. And then look over here. I can stick a few more pieces over here, but I don't want to overcrowd her. I want to give her give this part room to grow you know so um, i don't want to overcrowd her because she's going to do the same thing again because these, these are happy friends very happy friends so don't want to overcrowd but in the meantime it's a big pot so i want her to be as happy as she can be so thank you for your aspahal. and i don't want to wear you too much so I will do the potting on those two other plants. As a matter of fact, I'm going to now have four. I wish I could share them with somebody else who loves these cake begonias like I do since my, I acquired them from my mom. I really do love them. They were just in this in hanging baskets doing so wonderful. And um, now I don't have them in there. I didn't ask it anymore, but they're going to be lovely. So, so, I think I'm done with that one, and I have tons of leaves that I'm not going to throw away. I throw away nothing. I give everything a chance. So see, I have one, and this is two, three, four this one is five great big pot 
and I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna put all these leaves give them a chance and see what they will do I don't throw away anything I give them a chance because they might just grow and then I may be able to share them with some other plant lovers but like I said gardening is my therapy in beautiful Jamaica if you like my video please like share and subscribe and like I said gardening is my therapy